Let me set the stage. We're offshore of Marathon. Oh, there they are, piled oh, up yeah. right there, Pile right? Up right there. <laughs> we're offshore of Marathon, about 85 feet of water, and we're gonna anchor up here on a little bit of a ledge, and we're gonna chum. We're gonna chum with the standard, you know, ground chum, but we're gonna live chum. And that's gonna be, I think, the big, big difference today is live chumming. You know, hopefully we can get these fish fired up, and you never know what we might catch, right? I mean, that's what are the right. options here on the reef, Mike? Edge of the reef, especially, uh, you know, a cooler day, cooler time of the year, we're probably gonna run into mackerel, I would assume, all types of mackerel, king mackerel, Zero mackerel, Spanish mackerel. Might come across some big flag yellowtails. Who knows, right? You don't know what you're gonna come yeah. across. But I'll tell you what, certainly looking forward to it. Go ahead and get on up there. I'll let you know when to drop it. We're almost in position here. And again, I'm just looking for those readings. I'm taking the wind into account, the current into account, the depth. I want to end up in about 80 feet of water here. So I'm going to actually drop. There's a little ledge, and I'm going to drop right over this ledge and then just come back. Looks pretty good here, so let's get set up and see what happens. The conditions are good. A little bit of current. And the current's flowing off the back of the boat, you know. That's something that's really, really important when you're fishing the reef here and off the edge of the reef. Oop, there's a bite. There's a bite. Oh. Is he swimming at me? I think he's swimming at me. There he is, swimming at me. Caught up with him. Swam all the way to the boat. Yeah, did you see that? <laughs> Literally swam right to the boat. You know, it's having that current flowing right off the back of the boat and laying properly is just absolutely essential to a consistent bite when you're chumming and especially live chumming. You know, it's tough to get these fish to chew properly if the chum and everything's flowing under the boat up into the wind. We were talking about current and how important it is to have the right conditions. So what do you do if you can't find it? You know, what do you do if you're out here and you don't find those conditions that you're looking for? You move. Right, I mean, always move. And you know, I, I like to say, don't move 100 yards. Move a few miles, right? Yeah. I mean, on your charters, if you get set up, Michael, and you don't find that current or you don't find the right conditions, oh, and you're gonna move, up. what are you gonna do? How far are you gonna go? Well, I mean, definitely going to move at least two miles, usually one way, you know, up or down the road. East or west, yeah. Keys. Nice thing for us is we have a nice little network of people, so I could talk to a guy fishing three miles away, and he has a knot of current, and I'm sitting with nothing, so. And sometimes three miles make a huge difference. I mean, the current could be completely different three miles away. Oh, yeah. Current along the edge of the reef, it don't take that much distance to find totally different conditions. There he goes. There he goes. <laughs> now he's waking up. Well, you know, again, we're, we're chumming, of course, with the ground chum, but we're also throwing occasional live baits, little chummers, as we call them, small little pilchards. And that makes all of the difference. That right there will literally take your game to a whole other level when you start mixing live baits with the chum. Man. Yeah. Today, it's nice. The water's not super clear. Now, what's Which the makes advantage it a little of easier. that? What's the advantage of not having super clear water? Uh, cloudy water. I mean, these fish are smart. They get a lot of pressure on them year round. So we're using light leaders just to get our bites. But the cloudier the water, usually the more aggressive the bites are and the more bites you're going to get. So you want that murky conditions. You want that water to be, oh, that is a nice king. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, I definitely prefer wow. the murky water. Oh. Tell you what, it's certainly a great battle. <laughs> it's definitely a battle. There he is. That's a there, nice he comes. King. there he comes. There he comes. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Smoker. Ready? Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. All right. We should be coming around one more time. And. Oh, God. Meat shot. What we got? All right. Woo! 
Yeah. <laughs> nice game. <laughs> That was a mean one. <laughs> it was a mean one. <laughs> that right there. You know, what's interesting down here, too, is being able to catch these fish in shallow water, you know? Really, you'll catch them in 30 feet of water in the channel. We're in 80 yeah. feet here. What? And there's certainly, there's even bigger kings than this swimming around. Oh, without a doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, smoked fish dip is the most popular recipe for king mackerel. The way I make mine, fillet them up real, real well, leave the skin on, I cut out all the dark meat, cut them into even sized pieces because you want them to smoke relatively evenly. And then I create a dry rub with about 40% coarse kosher salt, 60% brown sugar, and your favorite seasonings. You can go crazy. You can put garlic powder, smoked paprika, you know, black pepper. I mean, you can do whatever you would like. Then rub the fish down real well, both sides. Refrigerate it for about 24 hours. Then take the fish out, rinse them off real well, okay? Rinse all of that stuff off of them real well. And let it dry. Let it dry in front of a fan, on a like on a cookie sheet, on a wire rack. If you don't have a fan, even on the counter, let them dry for a few hours until they get that sticky little residue on the outside of the fish. In the meantime, preheat that smoker. Smoke them at about one. Ooh, nice king. 175 to 225. We'll slide down here. About two and a half hours, and that's it. You let it cool, take the skin off, flake them, add whatever you want. I go 50-50 mayo, fat-free sour cream. Oh, yeah. Oh! Did you see that? I had him on the gaff and it came off. <laughs> Is it a good, good one? Yeah, it's a good one. I had him on the gaff and it came off. <laughs> I'll help you out with this one. This no, now I'm pretty. determined. Yeah, see each other? Yep. Come around. That's it. Just work together, communicate. We'll get both these fish in. He's not done yet. Phew! All right. Uh, oh, I'm not done. Woo! There it is. There it is. How about that one, baby? Yeah! Love it. Oh, yeah. Beautiful king. Look at that. Shoulders on that guy.